Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan, the Redburn Nerd, and before we get into this, if you hear my baby sister crying, it's because you're not subscribed. So you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. So let's get started today. The big thing I want to talk about today is another, if you saw my free agents video, you know that I, the Yankees are going pretty big on those free agents. And if you're a big baseball fan in general. And this one isn't free agent, but they've been talking about the deal with Louis Castillo, and they're and we figured we we found out who it might be for. So the Yankees and the Reds might have a trade for Glaber Torres and and for Louis Castillo. And the thing about this trade, I'm going to talk about who would get who who would who would have the best impact on this one. Um, the Reds would probably lose their best pitcher. You can hear my baby sister crying right now because you're not subscribed, my baby. Like, cause. I gotta be honest. Their 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 shortstep's not good. They could use Glaber Torres because if I'm not because I'm not mistaken, he plays shortstop. Wait, let me check. Yeah, it looks like he plays shortstop. Yeah, he plays shortstop. He plays shortstop. And. The red shirt stuff isn't too good, so you can't really say you can't really say that that he's that good. He hits in the two hundreds every year. I mean that's decent, but he hits low two hundreds. Not that great. Not not that he's not like a guy that was like, oh, best short stops in the league, Ferdy Galvis. You don't think that, or at least. But you don't think of that. But you would be losing a great pitcher in Luis Castillo. And I feel like right now the Yankees need a good bullpen. And so do the Reds. But they need good players. Like, like they need a good second baseman. They need a good shortstop. And with Glaber Torres, that would be a great shortstop. So overall, I think, and by getting Louis Castillo for the Yankees, that would be a great pickup. A great, great, great pickup. Because if you think about it, Louis Castillo might be that piece. If you went into my free agents video and you saw, I talked about a lot that piece, that one piece, like with Trevor Bauer and to San Diego Padres, that would be the one piece that I think they need to get through the World Series. But now I have a feeling my prediction was that it was going to be Yankees and the pa Padres. And now I think that even more if they're going to get Louis Castillo, they're getting a great pitcher. And I think just because of how... Just because of how it would impact impact the Yankees and might be that piece of the World Series and how it impact the Reds, I say the Yankees get a better deal out this one. Yes, you would be losing one of the best shortstops in like the league, but then you also got to think of this. You have to think of this. You have to think that. You all, you are also getting that piece, and if you're a Yankees fan, Yankees can afford to get another good shortstop. They can afford it. They have one of the highest payroll. They have like the highest payroll in all of MLB. They can afford another good shortstop. They can afford it. They can afford it. They can go after the teams that have big shortstops and try to propose trades with them. They can do it. They can. And, like, they can do that. 
if there's a good shortstop on the free agents market, they could pick him up. And there might also be like a guy who a shortstop who not playing right now, who's free agency, no one knows about. And then the Yankees draft the Yankees pick him up, and then he becomes an amazing shortstop. And he turns out to be one of the best shortstop in the MOB. And then you also got to think about this. You got to think about their minor leagues. They have good minor leagues. Or, like, they do have minor leagues. So, they could always just pick one up from the minor leagues. But that will do it for this video. If you want to see more baseball content, please like and subscribe. And if you heard the baby crying, that's because you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and peace out. Thanks.